Okay, this is in the area of um, Guadalajara in Jalisco State in Mexico. And this pyramid complex is called Extepite. And so far we're looking at relatively rough construction. But we're going to see if there could possibly be an older <clears throat> megalithic element to it. So it's amazing that we're allowed in here because most archaeological sites in Mexico are shut down. Today is July the 3rd, 2020. So the fact that the gate was open was an absolute pleasant surprise. So we're looking at construction. Utilizing volcanic stone. And like many ancient sites in Mexico, the builders used a kind of mortar made from volcanic ash. So we see that in many, many locations, including famous ones like Teotihuacan where it's relatively small stones, stones that uh, a worker could easily move and then cemented together by usually local uh, ash mortar, which forms a relatively crude type of cement. Any comments, sir? Mr. Helder? Yeah, uh, we're, we're about to see the bigger pyramid that is ahead has some part that the government unfortunately put cement on it to be like safety and well thankfully is no guards on the door so we got in and this is used for ceremonies of uh, many new age people or shamanic ceremonies or whatever like three times per year it's in solstice and equinox they come here and do that and uh, well it's the only official pyramid that is inside Guadalajara, it's in the city area, so it's pretty easy to access on it because it's in the city, so it's 15 minutes from uh, Ryan's Hotel, so it's really uh, easy to come here and uh, well, let's hope you like the place. Okay, great. So now we're moving towards the more major pyramidal structure. We haven't been able to ascertain what culture it was who originally built it. And by Mexican standards it's relatively small, but like what <clears throat> excuse me, Helder said is that it's the only pyramidal structure in the immediate Guadalajara area. That's the unfortunate mistake of government. To modernize that stairs with cement oh. and paint it. But the rest is original. Oh, okay. So you may have heard what Helder said. He said that uh, the government came and put concrete where the staircase is, which is unfortunate, but that's what happens. We see at other locations, like at uh, Chichen Itza, and, other, and ancient, other ancient Mayan locations, that uh, the staircases were, and the same at Teotihuacan near Mexico City, the staircases were large, megalithic blocks and so what that tells us is that the known culture came and found damaged megalithic structures and then rebuilt them so it is kind of unfortunate that these stairs 
our concrete. But I'm sure they did that for safety purposes. Hmm. So you see some smaller mounds here in the background. Those are likely part of the complex. Uh, probably originally smaller pyramidal or pyramid-like structures going off into the distance. And standard story, like almost anywhere, is only a certain percentage gets uh, restored, not due to lack of funds, but the lack of will to spend the funds. And that's what we also see in many other locations, like Palenque, for example, which is quite a famous ancient site. They've uncovered something like 10 to 15 percent of it, and the other 85 to 90 percent is still in the jungle. And the same thing with Tikal uh, in Guatemala. Maybe 10 percent, maybe 15 percent has been uncovered and restored. And the rest of the rest of it waits patiently to be recovered. So this is what an original staircase looks like. No evidence of it being ancient megalithic, but at least they haven't covered it in concrete like they did on the other side that we came up on. Yeah, big, but kind of rough. Take a few people to uh, maneuver that. And ants absolutely everywhere. Yeah, even fly one. Information randomized. 